solve this equation, first of all, we're going to have to use a formula to rewrite this. And if you look at your formula sheet, one of the formulas says that that equals the sine x over 1 plus the cosine x. And I'm going to choose to use that, and I'll show you. You'll see why in a second. A lot of these problems, like ever, anything, is figuring out the right way to do it the first time will get you to the answer quicker with less mistakes possible. The reason I did that is because now what I can do is I can multiply through by that denominator. I'm going to multiply each term, this, this, and this, by 1 plus cosine x. That will give me sine of x, because those will cancel, plus 1 times 1 plus cosine x, which just looks like that, equals the cosine of x times 1 plus the cosine of x. Now this might look more complicated, but it actually doesn't, because what I'm going to be able to do is distribute this cosine x in, which will give me a cosine squared x, and this, if you remember, can be converted to a sine, and you'll notice now that I've got a cosine x on both sides, and those cancel out. So my answer is, I'm going to rewrite this, sine of x plus 1 equals uh, cosine squared of x. Now I can rewrite cosine squared of x, like I said, into 1 minus sine squared of x from the Pythagorean identity. And when I do that, now again, the 1 on both sides is going to cancel, and I can move this is a quadratic equation now in one variable, which means I can move that sine squared x over by adding it. Remember, there's a negative there, so I'm adding it to both sides, making a positive on that side. Now I've got a quadratic equation. I can solve it by factoring sine x plus 1 equals 0, and using the zero product property, either sine of x equals 0 or sine of x equals sine of x plus 1 equals 0, which means sine x equals negative 1. And this means that x equals, remember the sine is your y-coordinate, where does the y-coordinate equal 0 in one revolution around the circle? At 0 and pi degrees. And when is the sine x equal to negative 1? Remember that's the y-coordinate at 3 pi over 2. Those are your three answers. Check them. Th those are your three answers between 0 and 2 pi, I should say, if we only want at one revolution. Check them by plugging it back in. The sine, or I'm sorry, the tangent of 0, 1 half of 0 is 0. The tangent of 0 is just 0. 0 plus 1 is 1, and the cosine of 0 is 1, so that checks out. The tangent of half pi is 1. I'm sorry. The tangent of 1 half pi is 0. Nope, check that. It's undefined. This is why you should check your answers always, when it, especially when it deals with tangents, because remember if you plug in pi here for x, tangent of pi over 2 is undefined. So this is not, this is called an extraneous solution. Now let's check 3 pi over 2. 3 pi over 2 times 1 half is 3 pi over 4. The tangent of 3 pi over 4 is 1. Is that right? 3 pi over 4 is negative 1, I'm sorry. The tangent of 3 pi over 4 is negative 1 plus 1 is 0. And the cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0, so that one does check out. So your two solutions are 0 and 3 pi over 2.